Hello everyone, this is Radha. Welcome back to my channel CYR is English. Today our topic is question tag. So let's get to know about the question tags and how to use them in sentences. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. What is question tag? Question tag is a short question at the end of a sentence or a statement. Here we have an example. Let me tell you. She is a student. See, at the end of the statement, we have a question tag. Isn't she? So, this is a statement and this is a question tag. These question tags always used at the end of the sentence or statement. So, this is what. Okay. Now, why do we use question tags? Is that necessary in spoken English or grammar? Yes. We will use these question tags most of the time in spoken English and sometimes in informal writings. Okay. And generally, we use it in almost uh, spoken English. Yes. Then, why do we use these question tags? Yes. Question tags are used to confirm or agree whether the given statement is true or not. Let me tell you. She is a student. She is a student. Isn't she? See here, I have written a question tag and I am going to confirm that whether she is a student or not. Got it? Yes, this is question tag and this question tag is used here to confirm whether she is a student or not. So, in this situations, we will use question tags. Okay. Now, let's see some basic rules of making question tags. Okay. A positive statement always follows negative question tag. Remember. Then, a negative statement always follows positive question tag. This is the point to be remembered. See here. She is a student. You can notice here, is this a positive or negative? Yes, obviously it is a positive statement. And we can also call affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences or positive sentences. She is a student, right? And the question tag in negative this is what we call. Isn't she? Okay. When the statement is in positive, the question tag is in negative. We added not here. Yes. And why did I use only contracted form? Let me show you. Is not she. Isn't it? See here, this is the expansion form, is not she. And I made it contracted form. Is not she became, isn't she? Isn't she? See, we have to use only contracted forms in question tag. Yes, this is also to be remembered. Now, a negative statement follows positive question tag. She is not a student. Is this affirmative or negative? Yes, absolutely it is negative sentence because not is there. Not it conveys something negative. She is not a student. Is she? You can 
notice here i did not write not here isn't it because that is wrong is she is the right question tag so here through this question tag i am going to confirm whether the statement is true or not okay let's know more about it here we can say there are three types in question tags in type 1 we will discuss about the sentences with auxiliaries in type 2 let us discuss as sentences without helping verbs in type 3 we are going to discuss about the imperative sentences such as commands order some invitations so on okay let's begin with type 1 statements with auxiliaries or helping verbs auxiliaries or helping verbs it can be do forms have forms or models like can could will would so on and the basic rule if the sentence is in positive the question tag will be in negative okay negative question tag positive statement okay the first one he was my old student he was my old student okay see is there any helping verb yes was is the helping verb isn't it yes and in second sentence can is helping verb and in third sentence has is helping verb right so here then uh, let's know how to make question tag with this sentences see um don't be confused you just take the helping verb first in question tag so what is the helping verb there was you write as it is was and is there any negative words like not neither scarcely nothing and so on no it means it is positive sentence if there is no any negative words you have to add negative word not then you have to write the subject what is subject there he is there no you have to write as it is and question tag okay he was my old student see this is the method you have to write the helping verb first then add not and you write the subject as it is in the statement so this is over next in case of this they can play cricket they can play cricket so what is the helping verb here can can is the helping verb and now let's start you write can and this is positive sentence so we need to add negative word to make negative question tag can write can because we have to use only contracted form so can't finish then you write the subject as it is question question ma over next arun has a car arun has a car okay now you start with helping verb then 
then add not aru okay here can we write arun as it is in the question tag now that's wrong if there is in the form of direct noun you have to change it into pronoun okay here is arun we can write he so this is how we make negative question tags with positive statements okay now let's move on to negative statements when the sentences are in negative how to make question tags hari couldn't climb the tree yes couldn't the sentence is in negative right because we have not here hari couldn't climb the tree could he that's it smoking is not good for health so here is the word helping word is is the helping word smoking is not this sentence also a negative you write is it you are not so beautiful yes you are not so beautiful and the question tag is are you okay see this is how we use question tags with auxiliary statements now let's move on to the statements without auxiliaries okay here are some sentences he went to bangalore he went to bangalore okay and before going to do these exercises and let's have a look at these words what are these see here i have written i u v they okay if you find i u v they subjects in the place of subject you have to start the question tag with do if you find he she it or names in the place of subject you have to start the question tag with does okay and if you find uh i all these type of subjects in past tense if the verb is in past tense you have to start the question tag with did okay you have to keep these things in your mind then you start making question tag the first sentence he went to bangalore you first find out the verb when is the verb right and is this in present or past tense yes it is in past tense when is past tense verb go is present tense okay now then after that you select the do forms here if the verb is in past tense you start with did okay so i'll write did then and is it positive or a negative sentence yes it is positive sentence because there is no any negative words in sentence so if the, if the sentence is in positive we need to make negative question tag okay as per the basic rule so we have to add not then you write he the subject you have to write the subject there then question mark next rani drinks tea okay rani drinks tea again you find out the verb drinks is verb then is this in present or past it is in present tense and now you have to select the do form in present tense we have two do forms here one is do then does okay but for this what should we select yes does because name 
When we write name in the place of subject, we should select it as, okay, does, then not, and can we write Rani as it is there? No, we have to change it into pronoun, okay? Rani is direct noun, we have to change it into pronoun, then it will become she. Doesn't she? Then, tiger lives in forest. Lives. Again, present tense. Okay. So, I will start with, again, does. Does. Doesn't. And tiger. We can use it to represent the tiger. Okay. Doesn't it? Next, Manu and Hari bought books. Okay, here this is a slightly different because I have taken Manu and Hari, two nouns here. Okay, so don't worry if there is more than one person or things, we have to use the subject they. That's it. So, and bought is this present or past tense? It is. Past tense. Then we have to select the past tense do form. What is that? Did. Did and they. Okay. See, we have completed type 2. Now let's move on to type 3. Imperative sentences. How to make question tags with Imperative sentences. Here we have three sentences. Okay. <clears throat> Close the door. Open your book. And shut up. And here you have to remember. When we make question tags with imperative sentences. And that is depends upon the sense of the sentence. What is sense? Yes. Sometimes that is in normal sense. Sometimes in serious sense. Normal mood. Yes. In. If someone says. Close the door please. That is normal mood. If the same person say. Close the door first. It is serious mood. Okay. So in imperative sentences. We will use question tags. Uh, on the basis of. The sense of the sentences. Okay, here, close the door. See, if the person is in normal mood, we can say, will you? Will you? We can use. Will you? If the person is in serious mood, won't you? Yeah, that's it. We can apply the same rule with this sentence also. Open your book. We can say, open your book. It means, could you open your book? Okay. And if the person is in serious mode, something uh, aggressive, open your book first. Okay. So, that's all depends upon the situations. So, we can use question tags. Again, will you? And again, won't you? And here, these will you, won't you, can you, or can't you? These question tags indicates something impoliteness. The way of say, saying impolitely. If we use would you? Wouldn't you? That is a saying polite way. So we can use that polite expression also with the sentences. That's why I said that's all depend upon the uh, sense of the sentences and situations. Will you? Or would you? 
Won't you? Sometimes we can use can you, could you, couldn't you. We can also use these expressions. Now, shatter. Yes, this phrase directly indicates the sentence is in serious sense. Okay, so we can use shut up will you we can use and won't you also we can use shut up means will you shut up won't you shut up so, we can use these two expressions with this. Okay. So, why I am saying uh, these imperative sentences, you know. In competitive exams, definitely you will be asked these type of sentences. Okay. That question tags will be in something tricky method. So, that is why, see, having this knowledge is better for you. Dear viewers, here... We have some exceptions. Yes, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Okay. As per the basic rules, what we have learned right now, see, I have to make question tag like this one. Okay. I am a teacher. I am a Yes, but this is wrong. We should not use question tag like this. And instead of that, we have to write, this is right. Aren't I? Yes, you might be thinking why this changes. Yes, that is why I said some exceptions. Because this grammar rules is like that. I am a teacher and you should not write am and I is wrong and instead aren't I is right usage. Next, let's start the work. Let's start the work. Okay, here we can't apply the basic rules again. And shall we? Somebody has called. Somebody. Because the helping verb is as. Can we write as? As they, as somebody. No, that is wrong usage. Somebody has called. As for the subject verb agreement, this usage is right. Somebody has called. Here, somebody indicates any one of the group. Okay. And when we talk about the question tag, so it means there must be a crowd. Okay. A crowd means more than one person. Okay. So, Somebody has called. This is okay. In question tag, here the somebody will be modified into they. See, when the subject is in they, absolutely there is the helping verb also conjugated. Right? So, haven't they is correct way. There is some food. The helping verb is yes. Isn't there? I am a teacher, aren't I? Let's start the work, shall we? Somebody has called. 
have a today. There is some food. Isn't there? So, these are some exceptions. Okay, uh, dear viewers, today we have learned what is question tag and where do we use, when do we use and the basic rules and what are the three types of question tags. Thank you very much for watching this video. Keep watching, keep learning.